how's it going everyone? This is Trainer Connor. I did something totally amazing earlier. More details on that later on. But it's about animation and Pokemon. Yeah, you guessed it. Pokemon animation. I might do something about that later. But yeah, we have a match again on the Indigo League of Legends portion of things against Ramon from the Sivai Island Jirachis. Fun match, let's get started here. So, I'm not going to go for Flamethrower yet. I want to break his sturdy, and it's really unfortunate because I don't have a spinner, and he gets to set up Stealth Rocks for free, and it's going to come to bite me later on in the match. Just saying. We do take out Fortress though, and that's a good thing. He goes into Aerodactyl next, and Aerodactyl, I was expecting a Mega Evolution of some sort, I was not completely sure, but I find out that he has a Focus Sash. Out of all the items, he gets a Focus Sash on a Aerodactyl, and it's like, well, you're not a defensive Aerodactyl because I know that you can put a Focus Sash on him when you set up self offs but in this situation, that's just so rare. So I get a little bit of a surprise factor early on in the match with a Focus Sash, and he tries to go with an Earthquake earlier, not going to work out on my defensive Skyvalier. And in comes Arcanine, and I don't really have anything, like I can't switch in to anything on Arcanine. I try to, but it works out for my opponent, because he gets a 2 hit KO off on my Gudra with a Flare Blitz. It's nice that he gets recoil damage, but then I find out that he has a Citrus Berry, so that is unfortunate there. And I go into Samurott afterwards to go with a Aqua Jet. I really should have just gone for a Sword Stance, expecting a switch out. But at the same time, it's like I wanted to get rid of Arcanine because if it's his main factor for this battle, then I have to take him out like now. I really should have just gone for a Sword Stance, because we have to take care of Tornadus, and if I had a Sword Stance up, an Aqua Jet would have done a lot of damage. But now I'm forced to be in this situation where I kind of make a few misplays with my Escavalier, and I have to face a substituting Tornadus in the process. I'm not sure if Tornadus is banned from the... OU tier or any tier really outside of Uber. I think it's Uber, I'm not sure, I have to double check on that. But not while I'm recording because then I'll be sidetracked and everything. But in this scenario here, I want to force my opponent to go for the kill here, but I also wanted to have him not have a substitute off. And this is the opposite. He gets a substitute off and it's like, well that's unfortunate. I go into Mega Alkazam here, or regular Alkazam, and going for that Mega Evolution, excuse me. I key master is going to trace that prankster. I have taunt on this Alkazam. Just for situations where I don't want him to go for a toxic. I actually should have gone for a taunt right there, but I was not expecting toxic. I think that's what I was thinking there. Yeah, very unfortunate because now I'm on timer. And yeah, so here I revealed to him that I have Taunt and he can't use Substitute. Hooray! And his way we're off. Double hooray. Now he's forced to switch out or something like that. I'm not going to actually he's gonna say in, that's fine too. That is fine too. And he just goes for a hurricane. Wonderful. And he gets a crit. Double wonderful. Alright, well this tornado here is becoming a problem for this team. I don't know what I should have done. I mean, yeah, going for a sword stance on my Samurai earlier was a much better play, I must say. But no, I just had to go for an Aqua Jet. But it's okay, so he brings in Bonnet as I go for the Zen Headbutt. And I was like, well, I can probably take this thing out with a critical hit or something like no max damage rolls. Preferably he max damage. But I don't get that whatsoever and he's going to burn my Verizon here. And I am actually a scarfed Verizon here, I think. No, choice band, sorry. 
Yeah, this battle was a little while ago. Excuse me. So leave me alone. Just continue watching the video and I'll give you some more facts and all that stuff. But anyway, so you see there, I get down to the destiny bond and that kind of sucks. Not a lot. I would love to have Ryzen around, but it doesn't matter because he's burnt. So never mind. Anyway, so thank you Cornelius because he sets up the ring again and I'm gonna go for a waterfall to take out the Cornelius. So I guess that made up for my misplay with my Samrod earlier. Now he brings in Basculin and I was actually expecting a normal type move but he goes for a waterfall. I was really surprised by that but it does make sense if you think about it. Because it's stab and it's boosted by adaptability and you have the ring up. Awesome combination. I probably should have done the same because I went for a nice slash. I get a critical hit but it's not going to matter. Anyway, so this is my last Pokemon. This is Kyle aka my Weavile go for knockoff here. And I take out the Basculant and he has a choice band. Hooray, not going to matter. His last Pokemon is Arcanine and the only way for me to win this battle is to KO this thing right here. But I come out really short. Man, that is so unfortunate. So yet again, I lose this, this Indigo League of Legends battle. All seven matches are losses, but they're really awesome matches if you think about it. Like, if you watch all of my battles, they were all intense, all that stuff. Anyway, so if you enjoy this battle video, then hit that like button, subscribe to see more Wi-Fi battles, and if you want to give me suggestions on things I can improve on, go ahead and comment below. I would love some feedback from you guys. Alright, you guys have a great day now, and I'll come at you with a new battle later. Alright, bye now.